Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I just stole somebody's intro. I'm so ashamed of that. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to part three of Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. Let's go into Conctor Canyon. In the last episode, we did lots of stuff with Mama Luigi. This episode, we're going to do some stuff with Peach. Conctors, they are like ostriches with sharp beaks. Do ostriches have sharp beaks? I don't really know. I've never seen an ostrich. I do know they, they, they run really fast. They were on that sports center thing where they put the ostrich against the guy. I forget what that was called. Anyway, uh, let's go up here and let's go into the gold pipe. This is this was funny actually. Um, see, I didn't have commentary going, but when I did this with my cousin, it, <laughs> we go in here. We have ten lives, kind of like we do now. I'm like, okay, all you have to do is jump back and forth and collect the coins. You know, simple. You'll get a one up every now and then. He manages, and just go watch the video, it's really short, but he manages to jump down that hole twice, making all the lives that I collected completely ineffective. So, but he's, he's still a pretty cool guy. I like my cousin, he's, he's alright. <laughs> and this is quicksand. And get those, get those coins! Oh, I love that video. <laughs> that, that whole E3 was wonderful. And bangers on all those tricks. And Conkdor die! Yo, is this a no-hit run right now? I feel deep. I, I feel so pro status. I've only died twice. I feel so pro status. And point and point. I'm invincible, and you can't touch me. Was there? Oh no, that's nothing. Okay. So this thing, don't kill the conch door. The conch door did nothing wrong. Just stand right here and get that. And now you can kill the conch door. So we're up to two. No stamp. Where's the stamp? I think the stamp's in the hole over here. Is it behind the waterfall? Yes, it is. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay. Just climb up there. I don't think I ever got this one. That's kind of impromptu. I like that. I like impromptu things. What's up here? Is there a stamp up here? Come on now. Oh, okay. Ooh, coin block. Okay, so this is back from Super Mario 3D Land. Um, okay, I just lost coin block. Ba basically, you can run around with it. There's a stamp. You can run around with it on your head. You'll get coins as you run. The faster you run, the more coins you get. And let's save Captain Toad and bounce on his head. He'll give us a star. Thanks, Captain Toad. When are you going to make your debut in Sonic Boom? I made that reference last time. It's not funny anymore. come to realize that my, my style of let's playing, I think a lot of people have let's playing styles that they're influenced, or let's players are influenced. Hey, in the, in the video I did with my cousin, this was, uh, the ending was all glitched out. Hopefully it's not glitched out here. But, uh, oh, okay, it's so important. Um, yeah, I've realized I'm influenced by a lot of let's players that I watch. Um, <laughs> one of which is K6 Scope, like I mentioned in the last one. He is, I don't know, there's something about his, his whole commentary style. He, he seems like a really impromptu kind of guy, and uh, I guess that's what's kind of influenced me to do this. I'm just kind of rambling and talking and pointing stuff out as I go along. My eyes are starting to hurt. I'm like not- oh yeah, I unlocked Nintendo features that I'm never gonna use. More Nintendo features. I won't use you, don't worry. Cancel. Mino want honeycomb. Oh, I love this level. Shadow Play Alley. This is like one of my favorite levels in the game. World 2 3. We're going at it with Blue Toad, not De facto Toad. Alright, so basically, Shadow Play. It's like it says shadows, and you play with them. So you can get yourself a piranha plant. I like these guys quite a bit. They chomp on stuff, they make their return, or these specific plants make their return in uh, Mario Kart 8. But as you Excuse me, as you can tell, I'm very burpy today. As you can tell, yeah, he just, he's a cannibal. Um, as you can tell, they eat their fellow plants and everything else, which is kind of cool. I, I quite like that. Um, wow, my computer's doing all right right now. I'm pretty convinced I need a new computer, but die! <laughs> oh boy, so much rage. But yeah, I like those plants. You pick them up and they, they eat stuff and they're all cannibalistic and whatnot. Oh god, big plant, choose little plant. Anyway, we're gonna toss you up there. Break those boxes, get that stamp, stamp, stamp. Yeah, not stomp. 
Stop the Yard. I never saw that movie. Maybe I did. Probably wasn't that good a movie. Oh yeah, okay. So we have poisonous mushroom gas here. Why did I say mushroom gas? I mean, I guess it's kind of like my... Okay. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, you could hit that button. Or you could just run back there and get the stamp. <laughs> or the, uh, the coin thing. Star metal. I did it again. I did it again. The green star, that's what they're called. And go past that doorway. Oh, e gads, it's Bowser preying on Little Toad. No, it's not. It's, it's fake Bowser. I love the little sigh that Captain Toad makes. He's like, phew! <laughs> little things like that that I really enjoy about this game. And we don't need no friggin' doors. I will say Toad is probably the most adorable character in this game. When he's in his cat suit. He's so little. Yo, I would love to see like a hack of this game with baby Rosalina instead of Toad. Yo, that would make my day. I'm not even tripping. Like, that would be so cool. Because as you know, I mean baby Rosalina in Mario Kart 8. That would actually be amazing. Um, well, I'll talk about something else. The good news is I don't have to work tomorrow, so that's really good. I got last minute coverage, so can't complain about that. Let's go to a secret level. Not really a secret level. A, a toll level, I guess you could call it. Oh, more blowing. So this is Puff Prod Peaks. We'll do this with uh, with Peach, because cause, cause Peach. Anyway, you need this gamepad for this. You touch stuff and see, you touch it like it told you to touch it. And when I touched it, it, it moved. Isn't that fantastic? It is fantastic. Touch. No. Screw you, buddy. I forget what those things are called. Uh, they're called something. I, I want to say what those... The, the two hit... Because, like, in Super Mario World, they're called something. Wait, there's something in here, I think. I think there's something in here. Is there? Wait. Will it kill me if I go in there? Let's just see. I've never tried this. We're going to wait and see what happens. Does it kill you? No, it doesn't. It do oh, wait, this is... Wait, is there's something there? How is there nothing down here? How is there nothing down here? Wait a second. I feel like I'm in the sewers of Super Mario Sunshine. What? Are you kidding me? There's nothing down there? That's so pointless. I think there's something down there somewhere else. There was a money bags guy down there, but I was like, screw that. I really love the aesthetic in this game. Like, the whole... It's all wispy. This reminds me of Kirby 64. No, don't go. Go back in. Yeah. Yes, Peach. Yes. I am a veritable cornucopia of useless uh, pop culture references, in case you were wondering. More blowing. Love it. You blow the little Goombas back, too. I would put them on my desk or something. That would be adorable. Like a little Goomba paperweight. I was like, can I jump over that? Or should I? Yeah, I'm just, I was like, screw that. Anyway, hop into the cloud. We're going to go see King Yama. Or King Inma, depending on your regional preferences for Dragon Ball Z. I was actually thinking about that. I heard someone say like Dragon Ball Z is more or less like crap anime. And I'm like, like not crap anime in the sense it's like just terrible. But in the sense, you know, it's it's like it's it's like just, you know, something you just watch. You you just I don't know, it's it's just one of those things you go back to, I guess. Not really you you don't watch it for like the quality of it, it's just, you know, something fun. And you know, I I'd say I disagree with that. I think Dragon Ball Z has one of the best like blow, one of the best uh you know, stories for an anime that goes, what, like, 290, what, 7, or is it 292? I can't remember. It's like 200-something, 290-something episodes. Um, I quite love it. A lot of people hate the Majin Buu arc. I love the Majin Buu arc because you see the character development. I love seeing Gohan go to high school. That's, like, my favorite thing. I love seeing Go 10 in trunks. This is completely off topic, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. I love seeing, uh, you know, Videl, Gohan and Videl's relationship, and um, Vegeta and his son, things like that, Vegeta and Bulma, 
all the stuff that really gets expanded upon from the seven year time lapse from the end of the Cell games to the start of the, um, you know, the World Tournament Saga. Like, I love that. It's just so amazing. And I don't think a lot of people realize how great it is that they have that kind of character development in Dragon Ball Z where you don't think there's character development, like, to begin with, so. Okay, that's just a mushroom house. Uh, I think these guys respawn if you get all the uh, green stars. So, we'll have to see. I think we've gotten all the green stars up at this point. Not too shabby. That is a... Uh, what is this? Um, I can't remember. Let's just do it anyway. We're at 10 minutes. Ooh, a butterfly. Oh, gives you a stamp. Okay. Oh, we got a Sprixie stamp. That's wonderful. Do, 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 do. That's like how you... That's like the curse of the terrible elf here. <laughs> and I'm like in that realm of when you just like stop and just start singing to the music. I think I was looking up on like Reddit, but like just don't do that. Don't do that. This level's kind of cool. You'll see it later in the game too with a different aesthetic. Um, okay, we'll go Mario. I love this. It's a uh, really rolling hill, so you run around. Die. You. <laughs> I'm so angry for no reason. Uh, it's kind of cool. You know, like conveyor belt hills. It's really weird, but I like it. I like it quite a bit. I think this will be the first level I don't get all the all the goodies on because I don't have cat suit. Ooh, Mario! So we get a stamp. You'll see buttons like that throughout the levels, a um, couple different levels, and basically you have to press them obviously with the character they specify. Otherwise, you don't get your uh, bonus. So. I thought I was... Okay. Actually, we're actually in good shape here. Let's, uh, jump. Wait, no, no, no. Let's go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry! Oh, yeah, we're not getting this one. Oh, we could. We might get it. We might get... Oh, that was so skillful. You know you gotta be envious of that right there. That no death run. Yeah, I'm taking these coins. I want those coins. Get those coins! I'm gonna make that reference, like every part for the next 12 videos, so get used to it. I wonder if like this signals a radical departure for how I do Let's Plays, because like I, I look at my GTA 4 Let's Play and I'm like talking about the game and I'm all engaged with it and I'm like, oh, this is so weird, Nico and oh, baseball, Nico and you know, all the social implications, impl it, ramifications and implications of him being in Liberty City, I'm like, you know, that, that's great and all, but I'm just gonna play Mario and ramble. I'm like, that's the thing. I was thinking, when I do this game, I was like, do I, like, look up a bunch of stuff so I can have a bunch of game-related stuff to talk about? And I'm like, you know, that's what wikis are for. I am not a wiki, you know? I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh, I'm gonna read up on the Mario so I can give you a bunch of information while we play the game. That's boring. I'm just gonna ramble about stuff that pops in my head, like DBZ. Um, let's see. I know there's something in the water. That's for sure. There's a pipe, but we gotta go up here, get the coins, and get those coins. Go into the pipe, and there should be something in here. Oh, I like this. So you have to light up the floor. It's, a uh, like a little dance rave. Kinda cool. Oh, it's like Electrodrome! Kinda reminds me of that. It's kinda... It's actually kinda cool. Never really paid much attention. Alright, my computer's heating up. I think I might have to stop after this video. How long have we been going? Has this only been two minutes? Are you kidding me? Is that really just two minutes of... Holy crap, this has only been two minutes. Sorry, that's like really unprofessional. Um, anyway. But I'm not a professional. That's what you're missing. And you think, oh, it's a bottomless pit. Lol, nope, it's not a bottomless pit. It's a bottom full pit. What's the opposite of bottomless? I'll have to Google search that mess. And, oh yeah, there you go. Mario, grab that flagpole and do a little dance. I love the how, yo, I never noticed the tree is literally bopping in the background. Ooh, I like that Mario running stamp. That's kind of cool. He's dash dancing. And we're up to 36 green stars. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, another 
really bad mini boss, so I'm gonna ignore him. I don't care about your help game. It's a Mario game. Super Mario. I always think it's interesting when people call him Mario. Versus Mario. I, I like Mario a little bit more, but I can see Mario. Mario's kind of interesting. Mario Andretti. Mario Andretti. So this is your little bonus room. You get five green stars by completing various tasks. This one you have to kill those enemies. And it's a thing. Oh, that was so, that was so pro. Yeah, this one really isn't much of it you speak of. Um, bangers. I like one of the later ones. It uses that whole baseball mechanic we just saw. So that's really cool. Ooh, fire bros. And we win. We got five green stars. I'm not sure how many you need to beat the game. Uh, or to unlock all the levels. I mean, you probably need all of them to unlock all the levels. But, uh... Or all of them except for like three or something. But you need a bunch. I don't know what the exact number is. But it's a lot. Oh, crap. I think I'm gonna have to put the soundtrack titles in this game. I completely forgot about that. Oh, crap. Now, I won't be editing this tonight. I'll do that when I'm back at school. <laughs> Lazy. So, big Goombas. If you thought they were hard when they were little, old, now you're up, up a creek. And your paddle is a toothpick. And that crack. That felt good. I love Toad's voice, he's so happy. So happy. And, oh I love this level. This level, okay. Wait, no, not this level. I like this level too. I'm gonna do this level with Peach, cause I think it's really suitable for Peach, cause you get, you get another fruit. You get, you get double cherries. So this is a new power up, double cherries. Here you go, you get them. What's that? You get, you get, uh, I was trying to think of how to say two peaches in Japanese, and I, can't off the top of my head. So I'll say dos peaches in Spanish. <laughs> uh, what is it? Futari, futari no pichi? Futari no pichi. That, that sounds about right. Futatsu no pichi? Something along those lines. Futari is for two two humans. Two, two, you're counting two humans. Yeah, futatsu no pichi. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Sure. Um, I should do more of that. That could be like my calling card. I could like try to teach people Japanese as I play a game. That, oh my freaking! All right, that was that was not what's supposed to happen. You want to keep all your double cherry chicks here because uh, they will help you. Uh, this will be the first level. I think we're gonna miss all the uh, all the things. And okay. Let's head back, actually. Yeah, you want to, you know, keep all your peaches, because they will help you get things, like star coins. So we got the first one. Oh, that's the second one. We missed one. All right, then. I guess I'll go back and get that one, like, when I feel like it. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll do, like, a cleanup at the end of the game, where I just, like, go through and get all the star coins that I missed. Because there's no point, like, playing a level twice. Actually, I don't even need this. You're just going to get another fire power up. Which I already have, but we'll take it anyway. Fire bro. I always thought the fire bro should be like resistant to fire. That would be really cool. That's something else I really like. I love Peach's, uh, her fire flower outfit. The fact that she puts her hair in a ponytail, like, that's so cool. I don't know, it's just so chill for Peach. She's like, yeah, I'm just running around here in my ponytail. Yeah, I really missed something here, but anyway. You can get a bunch of peaches. I think you can get like five total in this level. And you can run around controlling all of them. Maybe I'll show it off later when I go back for the coins and stuff. But, or the uh, star, star, green stars. Okay, we're at seven minutes. We got plenty of time. This game is so much fun though. Like The, the levels are fun and the, the aesthetics are fun. Something else I think is really weird though. The, uh, oh, we'll do the casino. You know, the, the, the overworld levels, they're the same as, you know, Mario 3 or whatever. 
but they don't the, the levels in them don't match which I think is kind of cool it's not like you're going to world 2 and you get a whole bunch of desert levels let's see if we can do this right this time do 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 no I swear I will do it right once boink for some reason I like to do that at the end just run the character into a wall maybe this will be a shorter episode and I'll like finish off the world is this hold on a second let's go I'll show off the uh, the map okay so this is the map the layers are out there yeah I was right Sprixy kingdom okay uh, what do we do we missed world 2 tank and we have the last world we have the last world to do um, where is world 2 tank not two chains, two tank. I have no idea where that is. Is that it? That's not it. Is that it? Wait, no, that's world two tank. Oh, I know what I'll need. Okay, yeah, this is the last thing. The other one's on the next next uh the next screen. Okay, so this is Bowser's Bullet Bill Brigade. We'll stick with Peach, cause Peachy's got it. Yo, know what I miss? They should put in this game, the, or yeah, this game, or the next Mario game. I want the pink bombs back. Those guys were total bros. Like they were your homies. They literally were like, "Yo, hey Mario." Well, first they went, beep, 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 or however they did that noise. I love that noise. And they were like, "Hey Mario, I'll prepare the cannon for you." And Mario's all silent and all like, "Cool, I'll jump in the cannon," you know. The, the pink blue bombs are just, they're total homies, and I, I, oh, sorry, I get distracted by that computer noise. I realized, in one of the episodes, uh, you could clearly hear my computer, like, going into hyperdrive mode, Metal Sonic hyperdrive. It was actually pretty sad. Thankfully, no one noticed it. Of course, they did, they were nice enough not to say anything. <laughs> but, uh, what was I saying? Something about something. Isn't that always the case? For this level, you want to make sure you don't get hit. I mean, that's a given in most levels, but don't get hit especially because you need this thing here. You have your cannon shooting hoop de doop And you want to hang on to this puppy because at the end of the level, there's something you need to shoot. And if you shoot it, then you're golden. If you don't, well, then you'll miss out on your green star. Alright, there's your stamp and... 360... <laughs> 360 no-scope! 360 no-scope! Oh, that's amazing. Every COD player should play this game. Don't go in that pipe, break that wooden block, and you've just 100 percent in that level. Well, almost 100%. You still need the gold flag. Anyway, this girl, what's her name? Wait, no, this is Boom Boom. Um, there's Boom Boom and Pom Pom, that's her name. The chick. That's really misogynistic. The female version of Boom Boom, excuse me. <clears throat> My voice is starting to go. Uh, she's in this game. She's kind of cool. Uh, she has her boomerang. I did not know Boom Boom could go invisible. Maybe Kamek upgraded him or something. He should go to Dr. Xavier's uh, school for freaks or whatever it's called. Never much of an X-Men fan. I did love that X-Men Legends game. X-Men Legends was a really good game. And then X-Men Legends 2 for the PSP, I had that one. I always loved Iceman or whatever his name was. He was really cool. I never liked Storm. She kind of reminded me of like Oprah for some reason. And I don't dislike Oprah. It's just like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like if Oprah is a superhero. Okay, maybe that was completely racist. <laughs> I don't know. Make of that what you will. Anyway, we saved old Blondie here. And that's not derogatory either. She has blonde hair. Oh, that's perfect. Blondie saved Blondie. It's wonderful. I want one of those, bl those Blondie brownies. Those are really good. Okay, 12 minutes. I guess that's enough of a level of an episode. That was enough of a level too. If I wanted 15 minutes, I could go back and do that last level, but no, I think I'll I think I'll stop here. My arms are getting kind of tired from holding this game pad. And there you go. Next warp pipe is a go-go. 
is a go-go. And there you go. So, in the next episode, we will head through this warp pipe here. And we'll see what's up in the next section of Sprixie Kingdom. Thank you very much for watching. This has been part, oh, I guess it was three, of Let's Play Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U, Nintendo Wii U. If you don't have one, it's probably a good idea not to buy one till Smash comes out. I'm just going to say that right now. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peach says goodbye. And so do I.